Now we're seeing people who have been, who started the drugs four or five years ago, and some really disastrous results are occurring. Yes. Some people are developing a problem called dead jaw, which means that their jaw just wastes away, dies. It, it, it's not there anymore. There's another phenomenon that's happening, and that is that people are just walking along and they snap the middle of their thigh bone because it is too brittle to support their weight. Mm. The really tragic thing is that because it takes so long for these drugs to get out of the system, once someone has started the process, I don't believe they will ever again in their lifetime be able to remodel bone. Yeah, and they're essentially addicted in the process. What a, what a tragedy uh, to adopt a humanistic evolutionary mindset in any discipline, in philosophy, it affects the way we look at life. In theology, it affects the abandonment of all the principles of morality. And in medicine, it affects the well-being and the quality of life of the individual. The, the really uh, best way to deal with the challenge of osteoporosis is to follow the design and support the remodeling mechanism. Now that, that, and there are ways to do that so that the resurfacing cells actually start catching up and in many cases passing the grind up cells and we get stronger and stronger bone over time but it's fresh bone, it's young bone, it's not brittle, it's not going to collapse or waste away. Wow, now this is the 64 trillion dollar question. Dale, what if medical science, here we've, we've turned a corner, we're in a new millennium. Not only a new century, a new millennium. What if medical science were to embrace the creation model and we could, uh, to some degree, restore this context and the Messiah will restore this context when he comes to rule and reign and again, uh, a person, Isaiah chapter 9 and Isaiah chapters uh, 60 show very clearly that uh, a child that has a genetic problem will still live to be a hundred years of age. A youth will die at 100. Uh, yes, a, a youth who has a genetic problem. And an old man will live out all his days. He could live to be almost a thousand years, as he did before the worldwide flood. Here's the $64 trillion question. The practitioners who not only embraced alternate medication, but in a thumbnail sketch, what if that group of qualified medical doctors, I'm not qualified, I do not practice medicine, what if that group, such as yourself, actually adopted a creation enterprise? Tell us how you would uh, doctor the human body. Uh, by using low tech, uh, what I tell people is, we're a society is absolutely fascinated with high tech. Yes. Uh, the iPhone 3G was just introduced. Go out, try and find one. <laughs> no. People have, have. But the answer to health for the overwhelming majority of people is not high tech, but low tech. Okay. And there are exceptions, as you've already pointed out. Yes. Uh, for low tech. For example, people are enthralled by the idea of stem cell research and manipulating stem cells, putting them back into the body. However, if people simply drink pure water, eat real food, give themselves basic nutritional supports, protect themselves from electromagnetic radiation, minimize the toxins that are coming into the body, they are going to support the health of their own God-given stem cells to do the work that God intended them to do, which was to pop up and repair injury in the body when it oh, happens. That's marvelous. What's happening right now is we are having the stem cells themselves are being attacked by free radicals. The DNA is being yes. altered yes. and the most current theory of the formation of cancer is that it is a stem cell disease. All right, all right. And uh, with your practice, if anyone wants to get in touch with you, I wish every family watching uh, who's in the family of TBN. I wish every family would watch this program over and over again. So if they want to get in touch with you, uh, the audience can simply uh, get in touch with Creation Evidence Museum and we will get you in touch with Dr. Dale Peterson, who has given us incredible insight today. Now, 
we have these medical problems that we all experience. Aging. Uh, we all have some problem this very day that we're facing physically. But there's a greater problem than this. And Dale and I have discussed this many, many times. You see, he's a born-again Christian. He's a creationist. Our greatest problem is the problem of sin. And it required the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ to remedy. But not only the shedding of the blood, that blood must be applied. And in addition to that, it requires the new life of the resurrected Lord to sustain us. You see, Jesus came. He was born of a virgin. He walked our streets. He sat in our councils. He went to Calvary. He died for our sins. He was buried, but he rose again. On the third day, he was alive, just as predicted by the Old Testament and by his own words. And now that he's alive, the Bible says that he's the light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And he stated in the book of Revelation, Behold, I stand at your heart's door and knock. If any man will hear my voice, open the door. I will come in. I will sup with him and he with me. Right now, would you open the door? Would you pray this simple prayer? Just pray it from your heart. Dear God, I'm a sinner. I need the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, right now, I ask you to come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Save me and I will serve you with all my heart. If you prayed that prayer, you have a basis for a happy life here and eternal life with Him. Welcome home. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.